Please welcome tonight's host, Jimmy Morgan. Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Club Awards Ceremony brought to you live by the Skating Club of Boston. We have an exciting program in store for you tonight as we award our very own club members for academic achievement, athleticism, outstanding accomplishments, and more. But first, we know how difficult of a time this has been for many people. And on behalf of the Skating Club of Boston, we want to extend our sincerest thanks and appreciation to all of those who continue to serve on the front lines of the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Your heroism and commitment continues to inspire us all. As such, we are proud to bring this year's Club Awards Ceremony to you virtually through Zoom. And I will say, it's nothing like electronics to do some hiccups here and there. <laughs> We kindly ask that everyone ensures that you stay muted unless they hear their name called by a presenter or if you receive a request to unmute yourself. Our control team will be highlighting our presenters and award recipients for individual awards when it's time to welcome them to the virtual stage. And now, without further ado, let's get to tonight's program. Celebrating his 20th year as club president, please welcome the president of the Skating Club of Boston, Joseph Blount. Good evening, everyone. We are pleased to be able to bring this year's Club Award show to you through Zoom. Thank you for all your fall tuning in, for all of you tuning in and support your fellow club members, coaches, and staff. Karen and I are proud to be celebrating 40 years with the club, watching skaters of all ages and abilities, setting goals, and training to be the best they can be. Each day, I'm truly honored to preside over a world-class organization, supporting athletes at all levels, who love the sport of figure skating in a community rich in history as such as ours. I would like to take a moment and thank our board of directors for their time and their talents in service on behalf of the club. Please unmute yourself as I mention your name. Uh, Vice President Ann Buckley. Good evening, everyone. Raise your right hand. Stop, love. Excuse me. Secretary Deb Gaff. Hey everyone. Members of the board, Raymond Chang. Laura Days. Hello. Ron Island Gagan. Joanna Lloyd. Gloria Minor. Mm -hmm. John Moniz. Suna Murray. John Peterson. Hi everyone. Kelly Rayquat, Richard Shaughnessy, and Aaron White. This has been a difficult time for many of us, and we want you to know that all of us at the Skating Club of Boston are with you. We miss the interaction with all, and are looking forward to the day we can return to the ice once again. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and hope we, you enjoy the evening's program. Thank you.
Please welcome the Executive Director of the Skating Club of Boston, Doug Zeghai. Just making sure I'm unmuted. Hey everyone, hosting a virtual award ceremony is yet another first for the club, soon to be followed by the club's first virtual annual meeting. Things change, the club pivots, adaptability is one key ingredient to prospering as an institution for over 100 years. Our club awards night is one of the club's many longtime traditions, celebrating our community, our members, our skaters, and expressing our gratitude to all of you is one of the important things that makes us the Skating Club of Austin. So thank you for being a member of the club and for joining us this evening. Together, we are a community. Thank you to Catherine Steger, Tim LeBlanc, Jack Zegheib for putting together tonight's presentation. They have really made this a labor of love. And many thanks as well to our guest presenters who are joining us from around the country. Thank you for all being part of the club community. And in that same spirit of gratitude, our next speaker is club director, John Jepson, who would like to acknowledge the club's coaching professionals. Thank you, Doug. Uh, there's no doubt during these times, everyone, uh, lives have been altered both professionally uh, and personally. Uh, the last time anyone skated at the club was March 15th. Um, that's, no one has been on the ice since then, but that hasn't stopped our coaches from continuing to coach, motivate, uh, inspire, and uh, continue to, uh, for coaching or for skating to be fun for, for our members. The uh, stories have heard from daily challenges, weekly challenges, uh, Zoom meetings and lessons are just uh, one of the many reasons that at Skating Club Boston, we truly believe we have the top coaches in the country. And uh, we would like to acknowledge them when, uh, and thank them. When you hear your name, please unmute, unmute yourself and say hello. Christy Allen Piper. Adam Blake. Linda Blount. Hi, everyone. Susan Hamill Batari. Michael Bermonte. Hi, everyone. Amanda Farkas. Ariel Faye Gagnon, Rana Gladstone, Elliot Hilton, Erica Hoffman, Ron Crivet, Melanie Lambert, John Lee, Garrett Lukash, Sean Marshinsky, Sergey Minev, Jimmy Morgan. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Suna Murray. Vadim Namov. Hi, everyone. Catherine Nutter. <laughs> Tracy O'Brien. Brenna Oy. Hi, everybody. All right. Fred Palasik. Morgan Rowe Wolf, Matt Savoy, Alex Shaughnessy Ronzio. Hi, everyone. And here's my dad on FaceTime. He says hi. This is Richard Shaughnessy. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Evgenia Shishkova. Hi, everybody. Simon Schnappier. Hello to you all. Mara Smith. Becky Stump, Pippa T, Brad Vigorito, Hi guys, Kim Wheeland, and Deidre Williams. Thank you to all the coaches. Um, can't say enough for everything you are still continuing to do for our members. Um, and we look forward to seeing everyone back on the ice and at the club very shortly. Thank you and take care. Please welcome the Vice President of the Skating Club of Austin, Ann Buckley. Good evening and welcome everyone. It's wonderful to be together. 
Our club is a very special and collegial community of people who come together to share a common love of skating. Our sport is unique in the way it combines athleticism with artistic movement to music on ice. Beautiful performance moments in life touch the inner reaches of our soul. They inspire each and every one of us to value the intrinsic reward that is born from and nurtured in the form of aspiration. Aspiration is the wing that gives rise to hopes, dreams, and goals. Whether aspiration is modest or far-reaching, recreational or Olympic in its individual nature, it is fully the underpinning of life's beautiful performance moments. It is both an honor and a privilege to witness the journey of skaters' performance moments on and off the ice. Sometimes they happen on the big stage, surrounded by cheering crowds brought to their feet in universal recognition of the uplifting of the human spirit witnessed through a special performance. But many times, the most beautiful performance moments happen in stillness and quiet, perhaps of a test session or a breakthrough in solitary practice session where the only witnesses may be the skater themselves, their coach, and perhaps parents or a small officials panel. It is my privilege tonight to thank on behalf of the club, our hardworking club officials who never take for granted the honor and privilege of the role they play in helping our athletes of all ages and abilities achieve their goals through evaluating performance moments which strengthen an athlete's aspiration to excellence and thereby hopefully bringing their dreams to fruition. These club volunteers are dedicated to balancing technical knowledge, feedback, and compassion, all the while never losing sight of scholarly, disciplined application of the defined standards of sport. They are accountants, referees, judges, technical specialists, music officials, and announcers, whose tireless efforts allow us to conduct wonderful competitions and test sessions. Please join me now in thanking our club officials for their service this past year. Arthur Barr, Martha Buckley, Jessica Buskang. Thank you, hello everybody. Nice to see so many faces. Leonard Calaruso. Laura Days. Uh, well, hi, thank you. <laughs> hi. Yes, please, I meant, I meant to say, please unmute yourself when you hear your name and say hello. Uh, so Arthur Barr, let me go back. Are you on with us, Arthur? Okay, uh, Devaney Duck, Donald Deming, Alexandria Dunn Bryant, Shelby Gill, Alan Heinold, Sarah Jane Holland. Kathy Jansen, Emily Johnson, Sally Hall Jones, Emily Ann Conline, George Ludlow, Christine McGill. David McGill, Alexandra Mailer Haug, Elise Matsumoto, Colin McManus, Suna Murray, Summer Nagy, Rachel Naftal. Hi, everyone. Christina Olson. Michael Fenouf. Tom Richardson. 
Good evening. Nice to see you all. Aubrey Samos Williams. Elliot Schwartz. Susan Scott. Patricia Soans. Henry Sun. Cynthia Stevenson. Shirley Taylor. Laura Van Ruyen. Georgina Roglu. Kim Wieland. Mary Elizabeth Whiteman. We thank you. It takes many hours and many seasons of dedicated study, practice, and perseverance to receive the honor of being selected to represent U.S. figure skating as an official at the U.S. championships and qualifying competitions in every discipline. The following club officials received that honor for 2019-2020. We'd like to really congratulate those who served first at the U.S. championships in 2020. Devaney Deck, Conant Peterson, and I'd like to take an extra moment to give the, the shout out to Conant that it was an extra honor to be selected in her first season of eligibility as a national appointment. And we were extremely proud of, of her. It was a lot of hard work to get where she, where she got to. Uh, she has served all of us tirelessly for many seasons and many hours and countless skaters have benefited from her wonderful advice and counsel and support. Cynthia Stevenson. Also at the U.S. Synchronized Championships, Laura Days made her first appearance as a national referee. Ellen Heinhold served Summer Nagy, who had the extra honor in her first season of eligibility as a technical national technical specialist. Elliot Schwartz, who had his for honor, extra honor as also serving as a judge in his first year of eligibility. So we thank all of you and congratulations. The U.S. Adult Championships and U.S. Collegiate Championships were canceled, but the following members were scheduled to, were selected and scheduled to officiate. Colin McManus, Connett Peterson, Henry Sun, and Cynthia Stevenson. The sectionals finals and synchronized sectional championships had a number of our club officials also selected, and that, which was a big honor. Ann Buckley, in her first season of eligibility as a sectional referee, Laura Days, Christine McGill, Alexandra Mela Haug, in her first season of eligibility as a sectional judge, she is a national technical specialist, Colin McManus, Elise Matsumoto, Summer Nagy, Rachel Naftal, Connett Peterson, Elliot Schwartz, Cynthia Stevenson, Mary Elizabeth Whiteman. For the regional challenge finals, we thank Arthur Barr, Devaney Deck, Christine McGill, Elise Matsumoto, Colin McManus, Rachel Naftal, Connett Peterson, Tom Richardson, Cynthia Stevenson, Aubrey Samos Williams, and Mary Elizabeth Whiteman. We have a few other ex just quick extra shout outs that we would like to, to say. First of all, many of these same officials have dedicated untold hours on a number of the US uh, officials committees. We would particularly like to acknowledge Elliot Schwartz for two services, just finished his term on the U.S. Figure Skating Nominating Committee, and welcome Rachel Naftal as the incoming, uh, just recently elected at the most recent governing council to the nominating committee. So congratulations and thank you to both of them. Uh, Elise Matsumoto, who is chair of the U.S. Dance Technical Development and Technical Committee, so extra, extraordinary leadership on the part of a number of our officials. Uh, we also have some outstanding unsung leadership and community service shout outs. First of all, within our home sweet home under our own roof, our test committee, we could not do what we, nearly what we do without our dedicated test chairs. Lenny Calarusso, Laura Days, and their helpers, Sarah Jane Howland, Susan Scott, Tom Richardson, and Shirley Taylor. 
I have two additional uh, comments for Sarah Jane. Uh, first of all, she achieved her Gold Test Award this year. Congratulations, uh, her Gold Test appointment. And she's also the incoming high school programs uh, representative for New England, and she's gonna do an amazing job at that. We thank her. And Shirley Taylor, who, when we thanked everyone under COVID and for all the service, I think, Shirley, you get an amazing thank you for the incredible job that you've done with your mask project, which has been noted internally and locally in newspapers and in US Figure Skating's Skating Magazine. Wow, that's all I can say. Wow, thank you. Uh, adaptive Skating, Michael Fenouf, and that brings me to outstanding service and hard work for uh, two officials that I would, I, well, a couple of officials real quickly. First of all, we have officials who grew up in this club, who started in the Learn Skate program, became regional competitors, and went on to have a, a, a wonderful career as collegiate skaters. And now as young professionals, they are serving the club and U.S. figure skating, giving back into the sport that they love. I mean, certainly one would think immediately of Christine McGill. Um, she, I watched her grow up in the club from the time she was very young, and she has followed in wonderful footsteps in the example of her parents, who've also given tremendous service to the club. So to David and Lydia, we also give our thanks. Um, <clears throat> As David also serves us as a national um, announcer and has served at every almost every test session in, in the past number of years. So we thank them very, very much for that. Um, I would like to also acknowledge another skate, another official who she is extraordinary in every sense of that word. And excellence defines every aspect of her life. She also has been a club member since she was a child. She has volunteered in every possible capacity from ice chips to junior activities to helping teach learn to skate. She's been competing in multiple uh, disciplines and testing in multiple disciplines since she was very young and continues to skate with great devotion before work. She's an incredible, remarkable, humble person who has achieved as well as given back very quietly, very humbly serving. And she was, for parents and skaters, she is the example of who you hope that your skater will become or that you can aspire to be as, as a young skater and a student, as a scholar athlete. She graduated as a US figure skating scholar athlete and, uh, and as valedictorian of her high school class before going on to have an incredible career in college. She earned two degrees at MIT and is now an outstanding uh, young professional in the software industry. She continued to give back into the sport and continues on a daily basis. She has served the club backstage at Ice Chips. She has, um, she has served as test chair. She currently serves as a judge and uh, as a technical controller in synchronized. She is a judge in both singles, pairs, and synchronized. Uh, she is a national technical specialist in synchronized. She is a national judge in synchronized. I would like to acknowledge that at the most recent governing council, it was announced that she is our newest national judge in singles and pairs and she is the youngest club member to ever achieve this amazing honor. I can only say to parents, if you hope to realize what skating has meant and can mean to you in your life, in your development, in being a champion, and, a, and really ascribing to excellence in every aspect of your life, you will find no, no greater champion than Rachel Naftal. Congratulations, Rachel. We are so proud of you, and we can't wait to see what comes next. So, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Anne. That was so sweet. <laughs> thank you so much, Anne, for that lovely tribute.
So let's move on to our first presenter, club board member and test chair, Laura Days. Hi everyone. One of our, our first set of awards tonight go to our gold test recipients. A gold test achievement represents the pinnacle of a skater's development and one of the greatest achievements a skater can attain outside of competition. On behalf of the Skating Club of Boston, I'd like to read aloud and acknowledge the following gold test achievements. When you hear your name, please unmute yourself and say hello. Caroline D. Pietri. Hi. <laughs> Sophia Ying. Emma Lesperance. <laughs> Annika Korak. Claire Fleming. Hi. <laughs> Allie Peterson. Hi. Annie Darbeloff. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Nori Darbeloff. Hi. Jonathan Hildebrandt. Brooke Robbins. Jonathan Young. Kiko Shafton. Brianna McIntyre. Sarah Campos. Hi. Lydia Canavan. And Clara De Camino, Del Camino Yang. Thank you so much, Laura. Now let's please welcome Club Secretary of the Board of Directors, Deborah Gap. In 2003, the President's Council on Service and Civic Participation founded the President's Volunteer Service Award to recognize the important role of volunteers in America's strength and national identity. The award honors individuals whose service positively impacts communities in every corner of the nation and inspires those around them to take action too. The PVSA has continued under each administration honoring the volunteers who are using their time and talents to solve some of the toughest challenges facing our nation. Tonight, we have two of these awards to present. First, in recognition of her 133 hours of service to volunteering for the Junior Activities Committee, participating in ice chips, and being a mentor for therapeutic skating and the unified team of Theater on Ice Boston, the Skating Club of Boston is pleased to recognize Clara Gross with the Presidential Volunteer Service Young Adult Bronze Award. Clara Gr Gross, please accept your award. Hi, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And next, in recognition of her 64 hours of service volunteering with costuming, photo day, and backstage operations at Ice Chips 2019, the Skating Club of Boston is pleased to recognize Jordan Sims with the Presidential Volunteer Service Teen Bronze Award. Jordan Sims, please accept your award. Congrats to Clara Congrats and everybody. Jordan. Please welcome our next presenter, reigning U.S. Junior Champion, Maxime Namov. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, uh, the Get Up campaign was launched by U.S. Figure Skating in 2017 to help skaters and non-skaters alike to recognize the grit, passion, and perseverance needed to get up in the rink and in life every day. Um, the campaign is a celebration of the strength, resilience, and determination it takes to be a figure skater. Its goal is to attract new skaters to the sport, grow our fan base, oops, uh, and empower our members to take pride in who they are as figure skaters while making a positive difference in their communities. Um, it was an honor to be presented with this year's, sorry, it was an honor to be presented with this award in 2017, and it is my pleasure to share this year's recipients with you. The Skating Club of Boston would like to recognize the following club members. Uh, when you hear your name, 
please unmute yourself and say hello. Um, Alice O'Connor. Uh, Kate Fleming. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, Cynthia Jarrier. Hi, thank you. Perfect. Um, Ilaria Tedeschi. Hi, thank you. Eleanor Diarbaloff. Hi, thank you. Awesome. Amelia Murdoch. And Jedediah is well. Hi. Perfect. <laughs> Congrats, guys. Shouts out to you. <laughs> Please welcome JAC mentor and junior coach Caroline DePetri. Hi. The JAC Excellence in Leadership Award was created to acknowledge members who are 13 and older who participate regularly in the activities of the JAC and club and who have gone above and beyond the expectations of the club and JAC community by inspiring their peers to be involved in club activities that foster a sense of community, consistently proven to be exemplary in their involvement with the JAC activities of the club as well as in all aspects of their involvement with the club, fostered positive relationships with the JAC mentors, office staff, and peers, intentionally pursued the club's ideals through the attainment of established goals and continual development of programs for the youth of the club. This year's award goes to Clara Gross and Lily Wallingford. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The 2019 to 2020 club calendar year was full of memories and highlights of personal achievement. We would like to share some of the best moments from the past year with you brought to you by the Junior Activities Committee. <laughs> Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever And everything would stay the same now my heart feel like December When somebody say your day Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright Don't raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your Memories bring back, memories bring back your there's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost And I felt all of the hatred Was too powerful to stop oh, yeah. And my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya And you know I'll never try yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gonna be alright a glass and say, hey, here's to the ones that we got. Oh, cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Oh, no. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories. Yeah. And the memories bring back, memories bring back your. Do -do 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 -do. Memories bring back memories. 
you told me, babe Some of these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the band I was thinking about the fans We were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at Still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become Couldn't wait to get older Couldn't wait to be some Now that I'm here Wishing I was still young Those good old days Somebody would have told me, babe, that someday these will be the good old days. All the love you won't forget, and all these reckless nights you won't regret. Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change. You'll miss the magic of the good old days. Wish I didn't think I had the answers. Wish I didn't drink all of that blast first. Wish I made it to homecoming. Got up the courage to ask her. Wish I would've gotten out of my show. Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf. Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought and felt comfortable with myself. Rooftop open and the stars above. The moment frozen, sneaking out and falling in love. Me, you, and that futon. We just begun. On the grass, dreaming, figuring out who I was. Those good old days. I wish somebody would've told me, babe. Always look back and think it was better than it was. Maybe these are the moments. Maybe I've been missing what it's about. Been scared of the future, thinking about the past while missing out on now. We've come so far. I guess I'm proud. And I ain't worried about the wrinkles around my smile. I got some scars. I've been around. I felt some pain. I've seen some things, but I'm here now. Those good old things. You don't know what you got till it goes, till it's gone.
Thank you, Caroline, for putting together that fantastic montage of club memories from the past season. I'm gonna put in a vote to see if we can make the bloopers a yearly thing, because that was so funny, so thank you. <laughs> All right, now please welcome back the club secretary for the board of directors, Deborah Gaff. Graduating high school is a tremendous achievement, but to graduate at this time in the middle of a pandemic is nothing short of remarkable and speaks to the perseverance of the class of 2020. The club would like to acknowledge and congratulate the following individuals who have completed their secondary school education. When you hear your name, please unmute yourself and say hello. Idris Abercrombie. Madeline Amadon. Desi Belkamen. Lexi Boulanger. Hi. Maura, Maura Buckley. Catherine Callahan. Victoria Castle, Nicole Catalano, Ella Daniels Coke, Annie Dabaloff, Hi, Nori Dabaloff, Hi, Cassandra Douglas, Jenny Jurens, Finna Jacobson, Hi. Simone Klein. Hello. Alex Liu. Sierra Madden. Katrina McCarthy. Brooke Robbins. Everyone, please join me in congratulating the class of 2020. Please welcome back Vice President of the Skating Club of Boston, Ann Buckley. This first awarded in 1983 to recognize outstanding young members who've demonstrated those qualities of character, leadership, conduct, and sportsmanship that truly contribute to the well being of the club and who through their enthusiastic participation in social activities, competitions, ice shows, and other efforts of the club, perpetuate the ideals which are the essence and spirit of, club, of the club's life. Our first outstanding junior member scholarship award goes to Gemma Parker, who has volunteered with the club's therapeutic skating programs and has been a mentor with the Theater on Ice Unified team, helping organize last year's memorial exhibition for Clio Theateropolis, is an active member of our skating academy, is an outstanding student, and has been a member of the Junior Activities Committee, serving this year as one of its co-chairs. Please join me in congratulating Gemma Parker on her award. Thank you. Our next Outstanding Junior Member Scholarship Award goes to Alex Liu. Alex has been involved with the Junior Activities Committee for the last several years, helping out with the Halloween party, the holiday pageant, and other events planned by the committee. He is also an active member on the Theater on Ice Unified team and volunteered with various fundraising events and programs for the Theater on Ice teams. Please join me in congratulating Alex Liu. Congratulations. Please welcome JAC co-chairs and graduating seniors, Annie and Nori Darbaloff. Hello. Created by the Junior Activities Committee in memory of Mary Louise Wright, herself a champion skater and longtime world judge, and presented annually to co a competitive skater or skaters who embody the knowledge and spirit needed to grow, not only as an athlete, but as an individual and role model. This award is given to an athlete or athletes who have demonstrated an effective balance of academic and competitive achievement 
while being active participants in the activities and events of the, of the club. This year, we would like to acknowledge the following recipients of the Mary Louise Wright Award. Anthony Yang. And Lexi Bollinger. Thank you. Congratulations. Please welcome back Executive Director of the Skating Club of Boston, Doug Zegheim. Thank you, Jimmy. The Zegheim Family Scholar Athlete Award was established in recognition of my pa parents and family's 50 plus year relationship with the Skating Club of Boston and our commitment to excellence in sport and education. We know that champions come in many forms and sometimes they are champions because of who they become as individuals through their experience in the sport. This award may be given annually to that club member who is currently enrolled in an accredited college preparatory high school and who demonstrates personal best achievement in both their academics and on ice performance. On ice performance is not necessarily tied to success and competition or level of test passed, but rather to club observed achievements or personal best performance dedication to the sport, good sportsmanship, integrity with their peers, significant improvement in skating abilities, and competitive performance, regardless of placement. The skater must be a club member and represent the club in competition at any level of a U.S. figure skating sanctioned qualifying event. The nominee must also demonstrate their academic record for full consideration, either by proof of GPA, school recommendation, or recent grade report. This award may or may not be given each year based upon the qualified candidates. This year's award recipient goes to a skater that I have watched grow up at the club over the past several years. It has been a personal pleasure to see their growth on the ice, their leadership off the ice, and their dedication and interest in the club community. They also hold down a committed study regimen at their distinguished high school. This year's Zekhaib Family Scholar Athlete Award goes to Gemma Parker. Gemma, would you please unmute and say hello? Hi, thank you so much. All right, congratulations, Gemma. Our next guest captured the country's attention and upheld his status as a household name during the 92 Winter Olympics. Among his many accolades, this honorary member is the 1992 Olympic silver medalist, a six-time U.S. championships medalist, world junior champion, and U.S. junior champion. Please welcome 2008 U.S. Figure Skating Hall of Fame inductee, Paul Wiley. Thank you. You know, no skater starts out as an instant success. There is a constant cycle of falling getting up, learning, developed confidence that leads to performance. It may be the most important lesson skating teaches that in life, through hard work, you can achieve improvement. After falling and falling, one day you master the tough jump, the difficult dance pattern, or the throw triple. The following skaters have experienced and in fact exemplify this important quality. They are the most improved skaters in the skating club. In honor of Teresa Well Blanchard, the first U.S. National Ladies Champion and longtime editor of Skating Magazine. I mean, I just want you to grab that. The first ever United States Ladies Champion. That's amazing. The Blanchard Award is presented to members of the Skating Club of Boston who are the most improved skaters for the current season. The Skating Club of Boston would like to read aloud and recognize the following club members for this award. When you hear your name, Please unmute yourself and say hello. Brendan Mann, Juvenile Boys. Hi, thank you. Jonathan Hildebrandt, Intermediate Men. Hi, thank you. Caroline Santaguida, Intermediate Ladies. Hello, thank you. Hazel Collier, Novice Ladies. Hi, thank you. <laughs> and Kate Fleming and Jedediah Isbell, Junior Pairs. Hi, thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
Congratulations, award recipients. I look forward to seeing everyone at the grand opening of the new facility. Please welcome club alum, Abby Kastner Ackerman. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Established in 1992 as a memorial to my coach, Bobby Black, by his family, friends, and associates, the Robert L. Black Award is awarded annually to a skater who is skating competitively at the junior or senior level. In selecting the recipient, consideration is given to the candidate's skating and academic accomplishments. This year's award goes to Lily Rao. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. For more than a century, the Skating Club of Boston has inspired U.S. figure skaters with a forward-thinking approach and long-standing commitment to excellence. In keeping with this history, the club is currently undergoing an unprecedented expansion by constructing its new three-rink training facility and performance center in Norwood, Massachusetts. The new facility will offer all club members, ranging from beginners to world-class elite figure skaters, everything they need to perform at their personal best in the ever-growing U.S. figure skating disciplines. It will also have the capacity to host local national and international competitions and to become a major destination for skating fans around the world. All of us at the club are so excited as the new facility is scheduled for completion this year and it will truly mark a momentous occasion in our long-standing history as we embark on the club's next 100 years. And with that, let's take a look at the next 100 years at the Skating Club of Boston.
here to talk a little bit more about this new era. Please welcome the director of the Next 100 Years campaign, Deb Ayano. Thanks, Jimmy. Good evening, everyone. I'm Deb Ayano, the director of the Next 100 Years campaign. I'm so happy to be here with all of you tonight. Congratulations to the Skating Club of Boston for this first time virtual awards program and to all of tonight's award recipients. You define what it means to be a part of this special community and are wonderful examples of the club's mission of excellence. The next 100 years campaign is about securing the club's future and ensuring that its commitment to excellence is unwavering. This campaign is an undertaking that will help the club fulfill its longtime dream of a new training center to support skaters at every level, as well as their families in the very best way possible. We're excited and energized at what's been accomplished to date, but we're not quite there and still have a little more work to do. Thank you to all of the members and club alumni who have supported the campaign so far. We are so grateful to you for making the club and this project a priority. If you haven't yet had the opportunity to make a gift, don't worry, it's definitely not too late. Join me and the many others in being part of this once in a lifetime initiative. Donate a seat in the Performance Center. Support the memory of and legacy of club coaching greats, Tommy McGinnis or Bobby Black. Make a gift in honor of a loved one. You know, if each club member donated three seats to the campaign, the next 100 years would reach its goal. No matter the level, thank you for your support. To learn more about the next 100 years, and to be a part of this exciting chapter in the club's history, please visit the next 100 yearsorg Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you all in Norwood this fall. At this time, the Skating Club of Boston would like to acknowledge our Director of Communications and Production, Timothy LeBlanc, and Associate Manager of Marketing and Communications, Jack Zegheib, as well as Director of Membership, Membership Services, Catherine Steger, and Assistant Club Manager, Brian Pigurski, for putting together this year's virtual award show celebration. And now we are honored to have one of the sport's greatest icons join us this evening. As the first ever American woman to win an Olympic gold medal, she has inspired countless generations with her commitment and ability to persevere. Here to present the Spirit of Tenley Albright Award Please welcome none other than two-time world champion, five-time U.S. champion, and the 1956 Olympic champion, Dr. Tenley Albright. This award was started in 2009, and the idea was to celebrate a skater who showed the love of skating, the fun of skating, and the joy on ice, and the spirit of the Boston Skating Club. Also, we demonstrated commitment, persistence, and sportsmanship. Tonight's awardee is a perfect fit. She loves skating solo and team skating. She skates with the Theater on Ice. She's a member of the Junior Activities Committee, and she has organized a number of events. Now, she has persisted through injuries, including stress fracture, a couple of concussions, and I imagine she has probably about as many black and blue thoughts as every other one of us skaters. I think we've all been through that. But she has been terrific in the things she has done. And she loves skating, and if you haven't guessed, who the winner is yet, I will tell you, Simone Klein. Simone, will you jump up to Zoom? Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. About, about you, who is your coach? Or do you have a few coaches? Melanie and Fred. Oh, that's great. And do you have a favorite move or jump? Um, I like double sow cow. What do you like? Double sow cow. Uh-huh. Very good. And I just wonder, one more thing. Do you remember the first time you skated at the Skating Club of Boston, and what was it like? 
Um, I think that I did um, group lessons with the Skiing Academy. And mm -hmm. I remember being very into it, very focused, and um, wanting to keep signing up. Well, you've certainly shown that. And so we want to congratulate you on this award. And also, a double congratulations for being accepted to Brown University for this fall. And I have to say, I can hardly wait to see you zoom across the ice and you staying love of Boston. So here's to you, Simone. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. And our next guests, we are very honored tonight to have two honorary club members with us to present the Weld Award for Outstanding Achievement. This pair team ruled the world stage in the late 70s and they are the second United States pairs team to win an ISU world championship. There has been no American pair skating team to win since. Please welcome the two-time Olympic competitors, five-time U.S. champions, and 1979 world champions, Ty Babylonia and Randy Gardner. Thank you, guys. Thanks for letting us share and recognizing these great skaters and members of the Skating Club of Boston. We have a long, long history with the skating club. We go way, way back. We did ice chips for several years and we kept coming back to Boston, the club to do special events. And um, we have so many great memories of, of the skating club of Boston. So congratulations to the skaters and the next hundred years. And um, it's just an honor for us to support the club and its members. In honor of A. Windsor Weld, founding president of U.S. Figure Skating, and the second president of the club. This award is presented to a member of the Skating Club of Boston, who is the most outstanding skater for the current season. This year's award goes to a young man who captured the junior men's title at the 2020 U.S. Championships, and then went on to represent the United States at the Junior World Championships in Estonia, where he placed an impressive fifth overall. This guy's good. I've seen him skate at the skating club. <laughs> and I've seen him grow up at the skating club too, and I know his parents. All right, please join us in congratulating Max Namoff as this year's a Windsor Weld Award recipient. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Congrats. Are you surprised? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> really? You didn't know? No, I was pretty didn't want Congratulations. to. Congratulations. Congratulations. Say hi to your folks. You've done good, buddy. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. See you later. Thank you, Ty and Randy. And congrats <laughs> again, Max. Congrats again, Max. That's an awesome accomplishment. So as all of you know, due to COVID-19, this year's Ice Chip show had to be canceled. However, that did not stop us from celebrating this year's show virtually. For exclusive content, be sure to visit icechips.org slash celebration. And as a treat, here's a special message from this year's planned guest star, two-time world champion, four-time national champion, and 2018 Olympian, Nathan Chen. Hey everyone, I just wanted to send a quick hello to the Skating Club of Boston and the cast of Ice Chips 2020. Um, I know it's really upsetting that we will not be able to do the show together. Um, I was lo really looking forward to meeting all of you guys, but we will get through this together, um, and I will for sure meet all of you guys in the future. Um, in the meantime, stay healthy, stay positive. We can all get through this together. Um, it will not be long. You know, we just have to we just have to stay at home, do our part, and this will all resolve quickly. So, sending you all you guys all my best, and please stay healthy. See you guys. Participating in Ice Ships was truly a family affair for the entire Holt Larson family. From the very first show that Emily and Shepard skating in to having all 11 members skate together, Ice Ships has been a part of their family tradition for many years. We are pleased to welcome the following members of the family who are here with us tonight. When you hear your name, please unmute yourself and say hello. Allison Courtney Holt. Hello, everybody. Happy to be here. Glad to see everyone. Thank you. Craig and Elaine Holt. Hi there. Thanks for Hi, inviting us. Emily Claire Holt. Hi. 
Holly Holt. Brendan Holt. Anna Larson von Mullen. Hi. Hi. Carl Larson. And Ken Larson. Here to present the 2020 Spirit of Ice Chips Award on behalf of the Holt family, please welcome Emily Holt and her daughter, Caroline Larson. Go ahead and unmute yourself, you guys, just so everyone could hear you. There you go. It looks like you guys still are looking for some audio. If you want to click join audio, if there's a button there. Mom, click the bottom left. <laughs> so she was able to go. How's it working out, guys? Did you find it? like we're just waiting on them to find the audio that's totally fine. I'll just jump in for a minute and say that my mother, Emily Holt, um, I think she first started skating in 1948 and my parents were in the ice chips, I believe a year before they married, which was in 1949. So I'm going ahead, they gave some prepared remarks and I'm gonna go ahead and read it for them. And as soon as they get back in, they'll be able to say hi to everyone. How's that sound? So Caroline Larson is speaking. <laughs> Created in honor of her parents, Emily and Shepard Holt for their 60 consecutive years in skating and ice ships, the recipient of this award demonstrates an enduring and exceptional commitment to the Skating Club of Boston and to ice ships. This year's award goes to a family that has picked up the torch passed on by the Holt Larson family in the true meaning of the Spirit of Ice Chips Award. For them, participating in Ice Chips is a family affair as it was for the Larsons. It is their pleasure to present the 2020 Spirit of Ice Chips Award to the Lynch and Wachowski families. Recipients, please accept your award. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I'm here. Is Annie? Hi. Hi, everybody. Fantastic. Love the skin club. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. Thank you, Lynch and Lukowski families. Congratulations oh. again. Thank you. Thank you. Super, super honor. Super honor. Please welcome Treasurer of the Board of Directors, George Darbloff. Thanks, Jimmy, and hello, everyone. The Skating yes, Club of Boston is filled with tradition and its longstanding history, rich over the last 800, uh, sorry, 108 years. It is our devoted club members who make the club what it is today. This year, we are proud to celebrate the anniversaries of some of our club members. The Skating Club of Boston would like to read aloud and recognize the following club members. When you hear your name, please unmute yourself and say hello. Celebrating 25 years, Carly Milden, Luann Donovan Hogberg. Hi, thank you. Raymond and Elizabeth Freck. 
Samantha Frick, now celebrating 30 years, Louis Shukiyu, celebrating 35 years, Lewis and Susan Farkas, Paul Wiley, okay, so celebrating now 40 years, Kai Babylonia. Thank you. It's an Randy honor. Randy Gardner. Sorry, I'll say it again. Randy Gardner. Joy Prudek. Charles Tickner. Joseph and Karen Blount. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Linda Blount. Hi, everyone. Now celebrating 45 years, Edward Cameron, Donald Denning. And now celebrating 50 years, Edward Johnson, Carol Schwartz. Hello, I can't wait to see the new facility. <laughs> <laughs> celebrating 55 years, Patricia, Patricia Sohn. And finally, celebrating 75 years, Alice O'Neill. Congratulations to all club members. The Skating Club of Boston appreciate your dedication to the club over these past decades, and we look forward to many, many more. Thank you, George. Now, please welcome club member and assistant director of the Next 100 Years campaign, Jane Piercy. The Thomas J. McGinnis Award honors the legacy of longtime club member and my coach, Tommy McGinnis, who enthusiastically dedicated his life to every aspect of the sport of figure skating. Tommy was a performer, producer, director, choreographer, publisher, judge of professional competitions, rink operator, and a coach at the local, national, world, and Olympic levels. As the only PSA master rated coach in all disciplines, Tommy encouraged his students to believe in themselves, push beyond their comfort zone, and above all, participate in the sport with enthusiasm. Tommy was especially supportive of adult skaters, a group in whom he saw great potential to develop a lifelong passion for skating, no matter one's starting age. This award honors Tommy's lifelong passion for figure skating by commending an adult skater who emulates his gusto for the sport. The recipient of this award should demonstrate character both on and off the ice, fully participate in club activities such as volunteering, skating and ice chips, and representing the club at competitions throughout the season. Actively encourage others to simply per similarly participate and embody the enthusiasm and spirit that Tommy brought to all of his skating endeavors throughout his long and illustrious life. It's my great pleasure to announce that this year's award goes to Mary Witkowski. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. That's so amazing. Thank you. It's, it's just a joy to skate with everybody in the club. So thank you. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Please welcome back the president of the Skating Club of Austin, Joseph Blount. Once again, uh, President Award is presented at the discretion of the president to the individual who has consistently and quietly served on behalf of the Skating Club of Boston for a period of not less than 10 years and merits recognition by the membership. The award is intended to celebrate the concept of selfless contribution, which perpetuates the spirit of membership of which the club was founded. This year award goes to a gentleman who has consistently supported the club's goals and objectives. He's a board member. He's on the building committee. He's on the finance committee. He runs under the radar and just shows up and gives us time and talent at will. This award goes to Richard Shaughnessy. Congratulations, Richard. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. 
Well deserved. Thank you. Please welcome former secretary for the club's board of directors, Elisa Pozanja. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, the next award is particularly bittersweet this year because it's the first year that we will be presenting it without one of its namesakes. Um, this year we lost Ben Benjamin T. Wright, who was one of our most beloved members. He was a member of the club for 82 years, serving its members and a sport of figure skating in many capacities over his lifetime. He was a longtime board member, he was an officer, and most recently he was a chairman of the board. He was also the club's chief historian, and he served in all capacities in an astute and conscientious fashion. Ben was also US figure skating president, and more frequently, he served as a judge, a referee, chief referee, and accountant at the local, national, and international levels. He served as an official with the International Skating Union, and he represented the United States as a chief referee in multiple world and Olympic competitions. Um, suffice it to say, Ben Wright was a lion in the sport of figure skating and at the Skating Club of Boston. And one of the amazing things about Ben is that he went as far as you could go in this sport as a judge, official, and referee internationally and nationally, but he always chose to return to Boston and dedicated himself to all kinds of club activities, test sessions, competitions, and do whatever he could to provide advice and support to skaters at every level of the club. No matter how far he went around the world, he always came back to Boston. And we in turn will remember and treasure him for his keen memory, his sharp insight, his dry wit, and his ever direct manner. Um, the Wright Award was established in honor of Ben and his wife, Mary Louise, in recognition of their service over many years and contributions not only to the club, but also to the ISU and US figure skating. The recipient of this award, which may be awarded annually, must be an active member of the club who has for at least 10 years been active in and has served well, not only in club affairs, but um, which uh, in, can include serving as an officer, a board member, a committee chairperson, and or a skating official, referee, judge, accountant, or technical specialist, but who has also served in US figure skating and or the International Skating Union or the Olympic Movement in similar capacities. I can think of no one more deserving of the right award than this year's recipient who embodies selfless, quiet service to our sport. Without seeking any fanfare, his contributions to the technical accounting community are literally what allow US figure skating competitions to be held under IJS. Because without the many software programs written by our fellow club member on a volunteer basis, such as IJS Companion, IJS Live, OSIS, IJS Display, IJS PC Config, our system of non-qualifying and qualifying competitions could not be held. The programs written by this man um, and this year's Wright Award recipient allow accountants to import skaters, clubs, and plan program content and export official sheets, seating charts, special achievement awards, and draw documents. They allow real-time posting of live scores to U.S. Figure Skating's website, displays on the Jumbotron, clocks, result monitors backstage at nationals, and more. And as if that weren't enough, this year's recipient also serves as National Vice Chair of Technical Accounting after many years as National Vice Chair for Special Projects. Plays a key role in U.S. Figure Skating's beta testing of the annual release of ISU Calc and serves as Chief Technical Accountant for Dance Beta Test at the Lake Placid International Dance Competition. Please join me in congratulating the man that makes it all happen, our very own Alan Heinold. Wow, thank you very much. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I didn't expect this. This is, this is just fabulous. Thank you again. I appreciate this very much. Congratulations, Alan, and congratulations to everybody who received an award tonight. And congratulations to everyone who attended tonight's celebration. Um, as much as we would have liked to see everybody all together in the rink, it was truly special seeing everybody's face at once in one screen. So thank you all for joining so much. And that concludes this evening's program. Congrats to all of our award recipients. Thank you so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you all on the ice soon. And remember to stay safe and club connected. I'll see you guys later. Thanks, Jimmy. Great job.
Good night. A special thank you to our host tonight, Jimmy Morgan. All of us at the Skiing Club of Boston have enjoyed hosting you this evening. For a complete record of tonight's award recipients and a recording of this program, please keep your eye out for future club oh, communications. Thank you and good night.